Moving on, after, the, after enjoying a, a lovely cruise on the Thames, which was arranged very kindly by Polestar, um, one of the leaders in, in vessel tracking, um, I then went to the last event of the day, which was put on by London Shipping Law Centre, and it had a, a variety of speakers. It was chaired by the highly engaging, the Honourable Sir Bernard Eda, and just to quickly go through the highlights of that presentation, I'll, I'll kind of skip through these for you. Uh, Christopher Moss, who's one of the most experienced LMAA arbitrators, he gave a summary of the recent changes to LMAA terms. The changes are not really groundbreaking, um, but there are, some, there are some more levers given to the arbitrators to ensure the swift progress of London arbitrations, which I think that's, that's welcome. Although, as I say, um, the, the policy decision of the LMAA was really to um, uh, maintain what is a, is a good working um, set of rules. Uh, the second uh, talk was given by um, Juliet Blanche. She was a, she's an arbitrator and she successfully provoked a healthy discussion, I think I can call it, about gender and ethnic diversity in arbitration generally and in London. Uh, she presented well-researched, thorough and convincing arguments as to why diversity is a good thing, why we should embrace it, and, and not just for its own means, but because it will enrich the overall quality of dispute resolution, and I think this is this is really important. We're seeing diversity um, talked about in many different facets of of business and government, and um, it's only right that we we place priority on diversity within the arbitration context as well. Claire Ambrose, a barrister at Twenty Essex Street Chambers, another leading set of um, shipping barristers. Uh, Claire gave a useful explanation of anti-suit injunctions pre and likely post Brexit. Um, the upshot is that there may be some changes around the edges, but um, the substantive prohibition against anti-suit injunctions within the EU context is unlikely to change after Brexit. Um, Kieran Moore, Senior Director of Claims at the UK Defence Club, um, and, and the UK Defence Club is one of the leading litigation costs insurers. Um, Kieran made some important points about costs control in arbitration. He, he also encouraged arbitrators to use the levers available to them in the LMAA rules to make arbitrations more efficient, um, shorter, and, and really um, to, to use their powers to prevent abuse of timetables and uh, to prevent delays. He also noted that users of London arbitration, LMAA arbitration, such as ship owners, charterers, insurers, and of course their advisors. Um, so users of the arbitration process are certainly looking for certainty in costs as much as that is possible. And he identified and talked about the increasing prevalence of alternative billing arrangements. And kind of pulling it all together masterfully, if, if I may say, um, Sir Bernard suggested two useful ways of improving arbitration in London. And those two, two suggestions were these. Firstly, that um, we may wish to cap the time for any arbitration award to 12 months. Um, that is that any arbitration, no matter how complicated it is, should be able to be dealt with within one year. 
And he cited as an, as an example that this has recently been done in India. And secondly, um, for arbitrators to limit recoverable costs where appropriate. And upon asking the audience, it appeared that, quite frankly, this hasn't been happening much. And um, it, it will be to London arbitration's benefit if arbitrators are, are firm on uh, what are reasonable costs. Finally, um, Sir Bernard implored the audience to sign the pledge referred to in Juliet's presentation earlier to promote gender diversity. Um, and I am pleased to confirm that our firm, Floyd Zadkovich LLP, has signed the pledge and we would encourage our colleagues to do likewise. We think it's a very important initiative that we should all be working towards. So it was a great start, great day, really enjoyed it. Um, lots of uh, engaging, relevant, um, informative presentations today at London International Shipping Week. Looking forward to the rest of the week. I hope you've enjoyed these summaries and if you've enjoyed them, please share them with your contacts. I'd be very grateful. Many thanks indeed and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.